Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the Pentecost Sunday. Please all stand and join in the singing of our entrance song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, Pentecost marks a fresh start for all of us. Jesus announces the peace that comes with his victory over death. He gives us the Holy Spirit with the power to forgive and conquer sin. Like the apostles, we are strengthened by the Spirit to face the challenges of the world. The Holy Spirit showers us with gifts. Let us use these for the building up of the church, the body of Christ. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet, we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, 
and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a right of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosoms shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment there below. In our labor rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours, and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint or ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you, evermore in your sevenfold gifts descend. Give them virtue, sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 20, verses 19 to 23. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. And to those uh, who are now here in our St. Padre Pio Parish Church. Welcome back. 30%. And those participating in our live stream mass, happy Feast of Pentecost. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit among the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Yan ang ating pinagdiriwang sa araw na ito, ang huling araw ng panahon ng pagkabuhay. Natapos na naman ang isang season 
ng Pasko ng Pagkabuhay, Season 2021. Ano naman ang kahalagahan ng uh, pagbaba ng Espiritu Santo sa mga apostoles? Meron ba tayong katapat na karanasan ng Pentecost sa ating buhay katulad ng pinagdilaya natin nung nakaraang linggo? Our ascension experience, pagtatapos at bagong simulain. Our first experience of Pentecost was during our baptism day. The second Day of Confirmation. Kaya lang na uh, palagay ko, hindi na natin ito naaalala. Tayo ay mga musmus lang nung tayo ay bininyagan. At yung karamihan dito, yung batch ninyo, pwedeng kumpilan kahit baby pa lang. Inabot ko yata yung 12 years old and above. As Christians empowered by the Holy Spirit, we grow in a desire to serve God through service and mission. Kaya't yung mga handog ng Espiritu Santo sa atin ay hindi lamang pansarili. It should be shared through works of justice and peace and service to the poor. When we witness or participate in such acts, we can be certain that the Holy Spirit is at work in us. Let us thank God for giving us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let us thank God because He fulfilled His promise to send us the Holy Spirit. May mga iba dyan na nagpapangako, kaya lang joke lang. Si Jesus, maghanap kayo sa New Testament kung nag-joke si Jesus sa mga pangako niya. Wala. Ano ang pitong handog ng Espiritu Santo para maging aware tayo na paminsan-minsan tayo ay binibigyan ng biyaya ng seven gifts of the Holy Spirit at dahil binigyan tayo ng seven gifts of the Holy Spirit we should be thankful as we reflect on our Pentecost experience. After confirmation, yung iba, ang naging Pentecost experience nila ay Life in the Spirit Seminar. Naalala nyo ba yun? Baptism in the Spirit? Ako yata nakapagtatlong Life in the Spirit Seminar. Una, nung ako'y batang pare. Pangalawa, sa Omaha, Nebraska, pangatlo, sa South Korea. Memorable yun para sa akin. Kaya lang, hindi ko muna ibabahagi ngayon sa susunod na lang. What are the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit? Wisdom, karunungan. This is the ability to judge and direct human affairs according to divine truth. Kapag tayo ay nakakaranas ng gabay at tayo ay tinuturo sa katotohanan, ang kabaliktaran ng wisdom ay pagiging gallibol. Anong ibig sabihin ng gallibol? Spell gallibol. Research niya yan. Ha? Madaling lokohin sa mga scam, jokes, at fake news. Pag may wisdom ang tao, alam niya kaagad na, oops, hindi yata katotohanan yan. Hindi patungo sa divine truth. That is wisdom. Hindi tayo marunong magpaloko. Mahalaga po ito sa halalan. Second gift of the Spirit, understanding, pag-unawa. Ito naman yung kakayanan natin makita ang Diyos sa lahat ng mga pangyayari sa ating buhay. Masaya man, malungkot, trahedya o tagumpay. Ito yung uh, moto ng 
Eucharistic Youth Movement, FG at Finding God in All Things. Finding God in the pandemic, finding God in the times that we have been successful in life, or finding God during the times when we fail in life. Understanding. Yung uh, nakikita natin yung kahulugan ng mga misteryo ng ating buhay. Pangatlo, counsel. Payo. Allows a person to, to be directed by God in matters necessary for his salvation. So ito yung parang gumagabay sa atin. Yung tipong handa tayong magpaubaya sa Diyos patungo sa kaligtasan. Lalong-lalo na kapag tayo ay gumagawa ng mga desisyon sa buhay. Very important ang counsel. Example. Pasensya na kayo, ito, napakainit ngayon. Eh. Oh. Na pinaglihi po ako sa yelo. Kaya madaling matunaw. Example. Nagpabakuna na ba kayo? Ayun. Pag doubtful kayo at hindi pa kayo nagpapabakuna, kailangan nyo ng gift of counsel. Ang kaligtasan kasi na binibigay ng Diyos ay hindi pang kaluluwa lang. Pag sinabing niligtas tayo ng Diyos, kaluluwa, katawan, emotion, lahat, buong katauhan. Kaya pag nilag, niligtas tayo ng Diyos, pati yung kalusugan natin, nililigtas niya. Kaya yung mga medyo hesitant sa vaccination, as the gift of counsel. Kung talagang desidido ka ng hindi ako magpapabakuna, baka kailangan natin ng counsel. The next, fortitude. Tibay at katataga ng loob. Lalong-lalo na kapag uh, sa paggawa ng mabuti. Dahil minsan may mga taong matibay ang loob sa paggawa ng masama. Dito tayo magpasalamat sa fortitude na ipinagkaloob ng Espiritu Santo sa ating medical and non-medical but essential frontliners. Talagang makikita nyo yung fortitude, hindi lamang sa Pilipinas, kundi sa buong daigdig. Tinataya nila ang kanilang buhay para lang mag-alaga ng mga pasyente. Kahit na hindi sila makauwi, kahit walang day off, walang tulog, mababa ang resistensya dahil sa puyat, talagang makikita nyo yung fortitude. The next, knowledge, kaalaman. The ability to judge correctly about matters of faith and right action. So as to never wander from the straight path of justice. Knowledge. Iba yung knowledge sa talino. Intelligence is different from knowledge. You can be intelligent, summa cum laude, academics, pero yung knowledge mo baka hindi kumpleto. Ito yung paggamit ng talino, creativity, and initiative patungo sa daan ng Diyos at hindi sa masama. Minsan kasi yung talino natin ay ginagamit para sa masama. Halimbawa, pinebenta yung pagpila mo sa bakuna. Halimbawa, nag-register ka sa Quezon City, Pasay, Mandaluyong, Tagig. Ah, nag Hindi nila makikita kung duplicate yun eh. Ha? Ah? Tapos pag uh, nag-text sa'yo o oh, dito ka magpapabakuna, bibenta mo yung apat na pwesto mo, 5,000 pesos each, di kumita ka pa. Magandang fundraising yun. Ha? Paggamit ng talino sa masama. Para labanan yun, we need knowledge. Next, piety. This is worship of God. True worship. Yung tipong... Kahit pagkatapos ng misa, pinagpapatuloy ang misa sa labas ng simbahan. And lastly, dahil nakikita kong pinapawisan na rin kayo sa sobrang init, fear of God, banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos. Hindi ito yung takot sa Diyos dahil paparusahan tayo. Takot sa Diyos dahil natatakot tayo mawalay sa Diyos. This is more of reverential fear of God. So my dear brothers and sisters, Sa misang ito, we continue to be aware of the gifts of the Holy Spirit in our lives and let us be thankful sa lahat ng mga Pentecost experiences natin 
simple or awesome profession of faith i believe in god the father almighty creator, creator of in heaven, heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Let us ask the Heavenly Father to fill us with the Holy Spirit, who will aid us in our weakness and be our advocate and guide. Full of trust, we pray, through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Fill the hearts of our church leaders with your spirit, that they may discover their charisms in order to actively participate in proclaiming your truth to all, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Send your spirit to government and civil leaders and rekindle the fire of their heart, that they may use their power and authority in the service of truth and liberation of our people from poverty, we pray. Through the, Through the power, power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit listen, listen to us, O Lord. Lord. Fill our consecrated men and women, missionaries and workers of evangelization with your Spirit, that the good news of salvation may reach the whole world and people may come to know you and your Son, Jesus we pray through the, through the power, power of the, the holy spirit, spirit listen, listen to us o lord. lord send your holy spirit to comfort the elderly the sick and the dying and to give eternal life to those who have died we pray through, through the, the power, power of the holy spirit, spirit listen to us o lord let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions We pray through the power, through the power of, of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Listen, listen to us, to us o, Lord. o Lord. Father in heaven, listen to your people gathered in prayer. Send us your Holy Spirit and transform us as you transformed the disciples at Pentecost through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Sisters and brothers, let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Padre Pio and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace, healing, and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With all our hearts, we pray in the manner Jesus taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant a just and lasting peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, from this pandemic and all calamities, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles and friends, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the gift of peace. Peace be with you. May this be with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to our souls.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy. worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above everything, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you were already present. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Do not allow me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata on COVID-19. Mahabagin at mapagmahal na Ama, nagsusumamo kami sa iyo upang hilingin ang iyong patnubay laban sa COVID-19 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng mga buhay. Tunghayan mo kami ng may pagmamahal at ipagadya ng iyong mapaghilom na kamay mula sa takot sa kamatayan at karamdaman. Itaguyod mo kami sa pag-asa at patatagin sa pananampalataya. Gabayan mo ang mga dalubhasang na atasan na tumuklas ng mga lunas at paraan upang ihinto ang paglaganap nito. Nagpapasalamat kami sa mga bakunang na isunong sa patnubay ng iyong mga kamay. Pagpalaing mo ang aming mga pagsisikap 
na mawakasan ng mga bakuna ang pandemya sa aming bayan. Patnubayan mo ang mga lumilingap sa may sakit upang ang kanilang pagkalinga ay malaki pa ng husay at malasakit. Pagkalooban mo sila ng kalusugan sa isip at katawan, katatagan sa kanilang paninindigang maglingkod at ipagsanggalang sa karamdaman. Itinataas namin ang mga nagdurusa, makamtanawa nila ang mabuting kalusugan. Lingapin mo rin na mga kumakalinga sa kanila, paggamitin mo ng kapayapaang walang hanggan ang mga pumanaw na. Pagkalooban mo kami ng biyaya na magtulong-tulong tungo sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Pukawin sa amin ang pagmamalasakit sa mga nangangailangan. Sa pagdamay at malasakit namin sa bawat isa, malampasan nawa namin ang krisis na ito at lumago sa kabanalan at pagbabalik loob sa iyo. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Heso Kristo na nabubuhay at nagaharing kasama mo at ang Espiritu Santo. Diyos magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Dumudulog kami sa iyong patnubay, mahal na ina ng Diyos. Pakinggan mo ang aming mga kahilingan sa aming pangangailangan. At ipagadya mo kami sa lahat ng kasamaan. Maluwalhati at pinagpalang Birhen. Amen. Mahal na Birhen, mapagpagaling sa may sakit. Ipanalangin mo kami. San Jose, ipanalangin mo kami. San Rafael Arcangel, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Calongsod, ipanalangin mo kami. San Padre Pio, ipanalangin mo kami. Parish Announcements We will have a second collection to support the change maintenance. Whatever donation you will give and share is much appreciated and valued. In celebration of St. Padre Pio's birthday, our monthly live healing mass will be on May 25, Tuesday at 9 a.m. instead of May 23. There will be no 6.30 a.m. mass on that day. Candila de Mayo para kay Maria. Offer your lighted candles as symbolic bouquet of flowers with your special intentions to Mama Mary this month of May. You may now request for a three-day, nine-day, or one-month candle to be lighted during Mass for your intentions and your name will be printed on the glass. Contact our parish office for more details or send your inquiries via messenger. Details are also posted in our Padre Pio Parish Paranaque Facebook page. To improve our contact tracing process, we will be placing the QR code at our parish entrance starting today. For those who would like to avail the QR information card, please proceed to the parish office. Instructional procedures will follow. Instructional procedures are also posted on our Padre Pio Paranaque Facebook page. Together we are unstoppable. Join us through the series of webinars conducted by the Philippine Red Cross and promoted by the Commission on Service to Human Promotions to help create an effective disaster risk reduction for our community on May 29, June 5, and June 12 at 10 a.m. Registration link and other details are posted on our Padre Pio community Facebook page. ComCare would like to invite our parishioners to attend a virtual basic faith formation to start on August 5, 2021 until March 2022, every Thursday from 2 till 4 in the afternoon. Please register at the parish office or to our parish catechists. A registration fee of 300 pesos is required for interested participants. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought us many challenges in the education of our children. Our parish does not rest in trying to promote hope and joy to our children and youth, in spite of the hardship brought by this pandemic. 
with the collaborative effort of ComCare and CMM, we will continue to post virtual catechesis on our Padre Pio Parish Community Facebook page. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by His blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.